Good evening, my crafting friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy, back with our last and final video to give a farewell to our virtual retreat day. And so we truly hope that you've enjoyed all the crafting that you've done today, our make and takes, all of the videos and the stamping or um, quilting or crafting that you decided to do today. So we hope that you had some time to yourself and um, were able to enjoy some crafting time. All right, anyway, so we are back with our final video just to give a little farewell to the day. I have one quick little final project to share with you. I will talk a little bit about what is to come and our next, I was gonna say next virtual retreat, but we're gonna have virtual and live as an option for next time. So I truly thank Jackie and Heidi for bringing me along um, on this adventure of a virtual retreat, as well as just inviting me to their live retreat three years ago. So they have done a fabulous job putting on this event. And you know, I get to be the face of your welcome and your closing and then your make and takes, but really all of them that put this on behind, they do so much work behind the scenes. I get to just swoop in and show you make and takes and have a little fun with you. But they've put a lot of work into this event and they really appreciate you taking part. So we hope that you continue to take part both either virtually, if you're not able to attend in person or maybe distance separates us and you're, you can still take part by doing this virtually. Or if you're able to join us live again next October 1st and 2nd, it is a Friday, Saturday option. Um, we cannot wait to see you back at um, the school. So let's get down to business here. I'm gonna turn this back down onto my um, workspace here. So I am back in my stamping, scrapping, crafting studio at my house. Uh, by now, like me, I don't know if you notice my hair, you probably, if you have long hair, changed it into like a messy bun. You maybe changed into some pajamas and you're relaxing a little bit. And hopefully you have some projects to share or show that you created today. I've got kind of a variety of things going on. So I thought I was going to be scrapbooking with the remainder of um, the supplies I had left from the memory and more kit from our make and takes today. But I kind of shifted gears I created a few cards that I want to share with you using the bundle that um, was used today. And let me just show you here what that was all about. All right, hold on here. We're going to see this in just a second. Okay, I'm seeing all kinds of weird things on my screen. I sure hope it's all right. You know, technology. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not sure why I have all these effects going on right now. I'm going to see if I can change that. I've got like little things coming down. I hope that's not too distracting for everybody. It doesn't look like it always is, just sometimes. Okay. That's the strangest thing. I guess that's what you get when you're doing a live live video. Who knows what's going on there? Anyways, so here are a couple more cards that I created using that Dragonfly Wishes Dandy Garden Bundle. And so isn't this just so cool? And so I worked on these this afternoon. I love this one here. Little fun fold. And here we go and one more that I created. And so I intend then on bringing the rest of my memory and more cards into using an album. And I quickly shifted gears to a different memory and more kit. But here's what I started with. So I did start with this six by eight album. And I started with the um, pages that can go in here. And then what I did is I shifted to using the memory and more kit called Life is an Adventure. The cool thing about this Life is an Adventure set is that it, I thought it was gonna be really great for travel. Well, it turns out what it's really great for is um, scrapbooking, memory keeping, my um, adventures with my children of being distance learning and quarantine for a year. So not exactly what I thought I would use that for, but it turns out it looks really <laughs> kind of nice, which I haven't really put it together yet. And so what I wanna really just show you is the base of this. So how you would get started on something like this. So where do you start with scrapbooking if you're new to it? Um, a great place is with an album like this 
or just putting your pictures in a photo album. Peggy probably covered that a little bit earlier. It's really important to you know keep track of those pictures as well as putting them somewhere. So I like to put them in albums right away. Um, I do like to scrapbook, but sometimes I don't have time to do a huge full on big album. So what then I will do is I will use this memory and more album. And so what I can do there is I can take these memory and more cards, I can just start putting them in, and then I can just put my pictures in. And so I have got these, they're four by six. I did trim off just a smidge of the card so that, or of the photo and the card, so that they would fit in here and they'd slide really nice and smooth. I didn't have any trouble getting them in. And so as you see, the main thing is I'm going to just start getting them in the album. That is the main part. And then I can always go back and rearrange where I'm putting things later. So as you see here, I got some pictures of my children being like super goofy because you know, what else do you do? That one is just a little bit too big yet, but I wanna make sure I get that one in there because this one is really funny. They were doing music class. Um, but let's trim that down just a little bit yet. So three by four is what I need these smaller ones to fall at. And so since I got a couple goofy ones here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's go here. And then what I can do here is I can put these other memory and more cards in. And you'll see, I should have put that in at the same time. Let's do that. What I can do is I can go back now and do my journaling later because I know it's gonna be really important to talk about this time. So I know I'm gonna to wanna to go back and I'm gonna to wanna to give more detail. And if you are a traditional scrapbooker, like we like to call it, see, I think I gotta trim that photo down too. So I can do that too. And then something that most of us had trouble with over um, quarantine, the original one was getting our haircut. So my son was no different than anybody else and he needed a haircut. So that'll be a funny one to look back on. And why not put, let's see, I'm gonna put you make the world a better place. Isn't that funny? And then let's see our journey. What do we wanna put on some of these? There's gonna be some pretty funny things to talk about here. And so I think today was a great day. It's gonna be good to go in this one. And so as you can see, you can really get a photo album together pretty quickly. I know I have a pretty funny one here. It says, I'm getting so good at the seventh grade. Now that was me helping my daughter. And I don't wanna forget about that. And so since I don't wanna forget about that, I'm gonna make sure that one looks kind of like studious. I'm gonna be able to write in there everything that I wanna talk about me helping with the seventh grade. And let's turn this page. So here, so I hope this isn't too messy and some of you might be going, oh my gosh, I can't even believe she's doing this. And I can't either, like live, in person, <laughs> scrapbooking. And let's go ahead and move this along. And so this was fun. This will be really fun to write about. We went one evening and dropped off our census. And so I have a photo of the kids doing that. And that's gonna be something that we need to talk about. So definitely need to put something up in that section. So it's gonna give me a spot to write about it. And then I can flip over here. And, and I also have a spot there to write. Let's see what else I've got here. So here, this is where I knew I needed to put another one. So you can see here, this is great. You can move these around. That is the nice thing about scrapbooking with a binder album is that you can move your pages around as much as you would like. And so here what I can do, because I realized I've got some smaller pictures that are gonna go great with this, I'm getting good at seventh grade concept is I can 
move things around a little bit. So I know I'm gonna want this here. And then I can also just go back in and add cardstock. So if I don't have a sheet that works how I want it to, I can just cut a piece of cardstock. Three by four or four by six is what's gonna fit in my spots here. So if you have not tried these albums, I definitely encourage you to. You would really enjoy it. So here's another great photo of my kids as they are virtual learning, learning to cook, all kinds of things that we did while we were on quarantine. And not that we, like I said, I thought we would use these cards for travel when I initially got them. And hopefully someday we will. Let's go here. So, but aren't these great? So I have photos printed and ready to display from this year. So I think that is so important. The main thing is to get them in a book because they aren't gonna be any good on our phone if that's where we leave them. And now I have these that can go in. And I think this is all the photos that I got ready for today to show this quick little display. And I still need to add a couple more in that I can write about. And that is going to, oh, how about bucket list? How fitting would that be? <laughs> we could write in one of these, what I could go back and write is my quarantine bucket list. But I definitely know that there's gonna be a lot of writing to do about this year. And let's see, so we got spots to write here. And I don't know if I have any more pictures cut. I will have to go back and cut some more pictures or trim some down to put in these spots. But for now, I will just so it's all enclosed and neat and tidy to give you one last little look is, and there's great sayings in here. I will put this one in here. And the dandy garden one would work as well for this concept. All right, a couple more that I shall add before I close things up. Again, thank you so much for joining us for this virtual retreat. It was all new to us, and I'm sure hope that you are happy with um, the results of our two virtual retreats that we have done, as well as the live ones that took place before that that are going to be coming back. So again, what did I do this in? Maybe 10 minutes? I don't wanna to take too much of your time because you have got crafting and um, things to do for the evening, but I did just wanna share with you a little bonus project that you can do with those memory and more cards that you have left over from the cards earlier. Again, last minute, I decided to try out these other ones for um, my 2020 book that I'm gonna be working on. And of course, I got lots more to do here. I just wanted to do a quick overview of how you can quickly do some memory keeping to expand on what probably Peggy talked about earlier. And I hope that you were able to enjoy some time. Hope that you sign up for next time to join us and enjoy the rest of your evening. So again, on behalf of the St. John's Lutheran School, Jackie, Heidi, and the whole crew that helped put this on, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we hope to see you back here in the fall. Take care, everybody.